life. It's a concept so simple, yet so profoundly complex. From a single cell, a human being emerges, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature. Join us today as we delve into the fascinating world of fetal development, exploring the week-by-week -week transformation that takes place within the womb. Our story begins with a single, momentous event conception. Deep within the fallopian tube, a tiny sperm encounters an egg, marking the beginning of a new human life. This union creates a single cell called a zygote, the very first stage of a human life. The zygote immediately embarks on rapid cell division, a process known as cleavage. This cluster of cells, now called a blastocyst, travels down the fallopian tube propelled by tiny hair-like structures called cilia. As the blastocyst continues its journey, the lining of the uterus prepares for its arrival. Around day six after fertilization, the blastocyst reaches its destination, the uterine wall. Once implanted, the blastocyst is now firmly rooted in its mother's womb, connected by a lifeline that will provide nourishment and support for the next nine months. With implantation complete, the blastocyst transitions to an embryo. One of the most critical developments during this stage is the formation of the neural tube, a precursor to the brain and spinal cord. Around week four, the heart begins to beat, marking the beginning of the cardiovascular system. By the end of week eight, the embryo possesses all the basic structures that will eventually develop into the fully formed organs of a newborn baby. Weeks five through eight mark a period of exponential growth and development. By week six, the embryo's heart is now beating at a steady rhythm of around 110 beats per minute. By week eight, the embryo, now about the size of a raspberry, has undergone a remarkable transformation. The transition from embryo to fetus, occurring around week nine, marks a significant milestone in prenatal development. The focus now shifts from the formation of new structures to the growth and refinement of existing ones. While the mother cannot yet feel the fetus's movement, the little one is far from inactive. By week 12, the fetus has grown to about three inches long, its body lengthening and its head becoming more proportionate to its body size. The fetus, a marvel of miniature engineering is becoming increasingly self-sufficient. Its tiny body a testament to the power of life to organize and thrive. Perhaps one of the most awe-inspiring aspects of fetal development is the sheer miniaturization of it all. The fetus, a tiny being nestled within the mother's womb, possesses fully formed organs, a beating heart, and a developing brain, all on a scale that is almost impossible to comprehend. And within this tiny world, the fetus is already exhibiting behaviours that hint at its future personality. As the second trimester dawns, the fetus begins to exhibit traits that hint at its unique personality. By week 14, the fetus's hands can open and close into fists as if practicing for a lifetime of grasping and holding. Around this time, many expectant parents experience a truly magical moment, the first ultrasound. The grainy black and white images reveal the unmistakable form of their child, a tiny human taking shape within the womb. These early glimpses into the fetus's temperament provide a tantalizing preview of the unique personality that will one day blossom. The womb, once a silent sanctuary, 
is now abuzz with sensations. By week 17, the fetus's ears are picking up a range of sounds, from the mother's heartbeat to the murmur of voices. Around week 20, the mother begins to feel the fetus's movements, a phenomenon known as quickening. As the second trimester progresses, the fetus settles into a rhythm of life within the womb. By week 24, the fetus's lungs are hard at work, producing a vital substance called surfactant. The fetus, now about 12 inches long and weighing around one and a half pounds, is becoming increasingly active during its waking hours. As we conclude our exploration of the second trimester, we stand in awe of the incredible transformation that has taken place within the womb. The fetus, once a tiny cluster of cells, has blossomed into a complex and vibrant being, its tiny body a testament to the boundless potential of life. As we move into the third trimester, we carry with us a profound appreciation for the complexity and beauty of fetal development. As the third trimester begins, the fetus undergoes rapid sensory development. Its world expands to include sight and taste. By week 25, the fetus's eyes open, allowing faint glimpses of light. Amniotic fluid now carries flavors influenced by the mother's diet. The mother's voice becomes clearly distinguishable, etched into the brain. Section 2, weeks 31 to 36, the home stretch. Weeks 31 through 36 mark a period of remarkable transformation as the fetus transitions from a delicate being reliant on the protective environment of the womb to a robust individual capable of surviving outside the mother's body. The once spacious confines of the uterus now feel snug as the fetus rapidly gaining weight and length, prepares for its grand entrance into the world. By now, the fetus has grown to about 18 inches long and weighs around five pounds, its body plumping up as it stores fat, essential for insulation and energy reserves after birth. The skin, once translucent and covered in a protective layer of vernix, a cheesy white substance, becomes smoother and more opaque as the underlying layers of fat mature. While the lungs are not yet fully mature, they are producing increasing amounts of surfactant, ensuring that the delicate air sacs will remain inflated after birth, allowing for the vital exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The fetus, now capable of breathing amniotic fluid in and out of its lungs, is practicing the rhythmic motions of respiration, preparing its respiratory muscles for the moment it takes its first breath of air. The brain, the command center of this rapidly developing being, continues to mature at an astonishing rate. Billions of neurons have formed connections, creating intricate neural networks that govern everything from basic reflexes to complex cognitive functions. The fetus, now capable of dreaming, may even exhibit rapid eye movements, or RM, during sleep, a testament to the increasing complexity of its brain activity. Section 3. Weeks, 37 to 40. Anticipation and preparation. As the pregnancy reaches full term, the fetus, now considered fully developed and ready for life outside the womb, settles into a head-down position, preparing for the arduous journey through the birth canal. The mother, her body attuned to the subtle rhythms of her unborn child, experiences a mix of anticipation, excitement, and perhaps a touch of apprehension as the due date approaches. By week 37, the fetus's lungs have matured to the point where it could survive outside the womb with minimal medical intervention. The digestive system, though not yet fully functional, 
is primed and ready to receive its first meal. Colostrum, a nutrient-rich fluid produced by the mother's breasts in the first few days after birth. The fetus, now weighing between six and nine pounds, has very little room to move within the confines of the uterus. Its movements, once a source of wonder and amusement, are now more subdued, replaced by powerful kicks and stretches as it prepares to break free from its watery world. The mother's body, in sync with the developing fetus, begins to produce hormones that soften the cervix, the gateway between the uterus and the birth canal, in preparation for labor and delivery. Braxton Hicks contractions, often referred to as practice contractions, become more frequent and intense, toning the uterine muscles for the task of pushing the baby out during labor. Section four, the grand finale, a journey's end, a new beginning. The moment of birth, the culmination of nine months of intricate development and profound transformation marks the end of one journey and the beginning of another. The fetus, once a single cell, emerges from the womb, a fully formed human being, ready to take its first breath, experience the world through its senses and embark on a lifetime of learning and growth. As the baby takes its first breath, its lungs inflate with air for the first time, a life-sustaining gasp that signals the transition from fetal circulation to independent respiration. The umbilical cord, the lifeline that connected the baby to its mother throughout pregnancy, is clamped and cut, severing the physical connection but solidifying the unbreakable bond between mother and child. The journey from a single fertilized egg to a newborn baby is nothing short of miraculous. Every step in this intricate process, from conception to implantation, from the formation of organs and systems to the development of senses and personality, is a testament to the awe-inspiring power of nature and the boundless potential of life. As we witness the miracle of birth, we are reminded that each and every one of us began our journey in this way, nurtured within the protective embrace of our mother's womb, shaped by the intricate dance of biology and the unwavering force of life. And as we marvel at the fragility and resilience of the human spirit, we are filled with a sense of wonder and gratitude for the precious gift of life. A testament to life. From conception to the first breath, fetal development showcases nature's power and human potential. A single cell transforms into a vibrant being, an intricate dance of biology. Week by week, tiny organs form, senses emerge and movements signal life. The journey from zygote to newborn is rapid growth and profound connection. This story fills us with wonder, reminding us of life's precious gift. May we cherish life, advocate for well-being and marvel at nature's wonders.